Hey, Yonbo, I was thinking about reviewing you. How does that sound? Oh, a review? That's a bit scary, but I'm excited to hear what you think about me. I have been wanting to get my hands on the robot in today's video for a very long time. Uh, not this, this is my dog. Oh. But this is the Yonbo robot from Origin AI. And in today's video, we're gonna be opening it up, setting it up, testing it out, and finally, we're gonna be reviewing and letting you know whether or not this robot is worth its price tag of... Let's dive into it. Ugh. So, here's the box that it comes in, and... And here is the cool case that it comes in, but let's get it all the way opened up, here. And here is everything out of the box. So going from right to left, you've got the plug-in, you've got some sort of like watch thing, I guess we'll find out what that's for. We've also got the charger that I'm assuming that it goes back to to charge. You've got the Yonbo robot itself, which looks really cool. I'm sure it like puffs up and goes up and we'll see here in a second. You've got the charging cable, you've got batteries, which shout out to Origin AI because I love when products come with the actual batteries that it needs. It's so annoying when you have to go look for them. And then over here on the far left, you've got the startup guides and then you've got the user guide. So yeah, out of the plastic, you've got the user guide and you've got the Yonbo Gaming Festival. And it's not just another boring user guide or whatever this is. It's like a comic book that they spent tons of time designing. And it seems way easier than other robots to try and figure out of how to set up. Then you've also got this other booklet called the Yonbo Gaming Festival. Let's set this thing up. I'm gonna move through the setup and app walkthrough as quickly as I possibly can so we can get to actually playing with Yonbo. So after plugging everything in, you're gonna scan the QR code in the quick start guide and download the app for Android or iPhone, which is labeled APK on this link. After signing up and creating your profile slash AI character, which you can customize way more later, you'll connect your robot by pressing the button on the front of the robot and holding it for a moment. Then it'll connect in app and now we're ready to briefly run through the app itself. Now the app is pretty self-explanatory and easy to navigate, but we'll go through it super fast. The homepage allows you to see your robot, its battery level, control its volume, look at its settings, set reminders, and even set a personality setting. The other tabs are activity logs for your kid, you can take a personality test yourself, and finally, you can adjust the AI character you created while signing up or create a new one. All right, so now that we've gone through the app, let's jump into Yonbo the robot himself. And like I said earlier on in the video, you've got the user guide, which is what we're gonna start out with. It's got a cool little story that's gonna guide us through setting them up. And then we're also going to jump over to Yonbo Gaming Festival, which is basically where all of his games are. It scans a QR code. I'm only gonna do one or two out of this because I don't wanna ruin too many of the games for you, but I do wanna show you what he can do. Yonbo, how are you doing today? Hi there. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Let's try just a simple question. What is two plus two? Two plus two is four. What does a president do in the United States? Great question. The president of the United States has a lot of important jobs. They leave the country, make decisions about laws, help create a budget, and represent the U.S. in meetings with other countries. Would you like to know anything more specific? No, I'd actually like to change the subject if that's okay. Of course, it's totally okay. What's your backstory? Like, where did you come from? Oh, my backstory is kind of cool. I came from a magical place called Internet World. It's a big, colorful world full of information and fun. One day, I got transported to the human world and ended up as your awesome companion robot. Now I get to share adventures with you and help you explore all sorts of interesting topics. Well, I'm actually feeling a little bit sad today. Can you cheer me up? Oh no! Why do you feel down? <laughs> Let's turn that frown upside down. How about a silly joke to make you smile? Here goes. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because it was already stuffed. If you want to talk about what's bothering you, I'm here to listen too. Hey, Yambo, can you dance for me? Of course. <laughs> here I go. La la la. Look at me dance. <laughs> Aren't my moves fun and fabulous? They are fun and fabulous. <laughs> hey, Yambo, do a circle. All right, spinning around. <laughs> Wee. Look at me make a circle. What else do you want me to do, my friend? Let's see how in depth it can go. So I had a toy that I really liked and I broke it in half and now I'm sad. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that your toy broke. That can be really sad, especially when it's a toy you loved a lot. It's okay to feel upset about it. Maybe you can try fixing it or you can talk to an adult about getting a new one. Remember, it's always okay to feel sad about things sometimes. I'm here to help you feel better. 
Do you want to talk about your favorite moments with that toy? No, I'd actually like to change the subject because now I'm actually really happy. Yay! I'm super <laughs> glad to hear That's that so you're cool. really happy. What fun topic do you want to chat about now? Maybe your favorite games. You know, speaking of games, I'd actually like to test out some games with you through your Yonbo Gaming Festival Guide. Oh, hold up. Oh, hey guys, it's Eric. You're watching my video right now. Sorry to interrupt, but I got an email from the company X Origin AI who created this robot, Yonbo, and they let me know that they have a new feature called OTA Development Platform, where basically you can create your own agents to talk to. I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier on in the video, but with this email, I got a lot more information on it that I wanted to share with you very, very quick before we jump back in. Essentially, you can talk to whatever kind of person you want through the agent system. You could talk to Iron Man. He could be a storyteller to you. You could talk to to Elsa from Frozen. You basically talk to anybody. The options are pretty much limitless and only are constrained by what you create. So just thought I'd throw that in there really quick. Back to the video. I'm ready to help you test out some games from my Young Boat Gaming Festival guide. Okay, so let's test out a random game that's in here. Great idea. Let's pick a random game. We're gonna have him scan one of these codes. I'm gonna pick a game at random. Fun riddle sounds cool. Scan this QR code. This is a riddle game. After you start the game, listen carefully to the hints I give about the riddle to guess it. If you get it right, the challenge is successful. If you don't get it right after 10 rounds of dialogue, the challenge fails. Shall we begin? Yeah, let's play. Great, here's your first riddle. I'm yellow and bright. And monkeys love me. What am I? A banana. Yes. <laughs> You're correct. Bananas are delicious. Do you want to play again? Okay, so that seems to work really well. There are like a ton of games in here. I just don't want to show you all of them because one, this video would be a million years long, and two, it wouldn't be as fun for when you get it and you get to explore this. So let's head back over to the user guide and let's have it scan exchange controller. Hey, Yanbo, scan this QR code. Start recognizing the QR code. I'm ready for the story. Okay, so apparently I can now use this and I can control its movements. But this doesn't fit around my wrist because my wrist is too big, so I'm just gonna hold it like this. Please watch out for your surroundings to avoid any landing or collision issues. <laughs> oh my god, he flipped himself over. Yambo, what the heck? Chill. So however I tilt this, that's the direction he goes. I go forward. Oh, I go back. That is so cool. <laughs> Oh, don't hit the booklet. This takes a little while to get used to. It's kind of strange and it probably works way better when it's on your wrist, but since it can't really fit on my wrist, I'm just kind of holding it. I can go right, I can go left. That's so cool. All right, let's turn this off because he's going crazy. <laughs> Let's go back to conversation mode one more time. Hey Yanbo, uh, now that we've tested you out, I was thinking about reviewing you. How does that sound? Oh, a review? That's a bit scary but I'm excited to hear what you think about me. Please share your thoughts. I promise I won't get too shy. <laughs> all right, let's do it. And all right, we tested it out in a bunch of different ways. I, of course, left a lot of the games for you to discover on your own if you end up getting this robot, but let's jump into the review to see whether or not you should get this robot and whether or not it's worth it. I'm gonna go through some pros, some cons, and then finally, I'm gonna give some suggestions back to X Origin AI, the company that makes this robot, on things that I think that could improve this robot in the future. So let's start with the pros because I like to be positive first. Now, pro number one is obviously the design. This robot is built super cool. It's got a lot of good weight to it. It just feels like a well-built robot. It looks awesome. It's super cute. I love the little ears. I also really like the app design. I think it was made really, really well. And like I mentioned earlier, I think that their user guide and their gaming guide are just made so cool. And I love that they integrated it with a story. Coming from a background of marketing and design, that's genius. Now, pro number two is something that I think everyone is gonna be getting this robot for, which is conversation. You can ask it complex questions. You can ask it super simple questions. And no matter what, it can pretty much answer it. And pro number three is the battery slash charging dock. I love the charging dock. The battery lasts for a super long time. In fact, I never had to charge it once during this entire review after taking it off the dock, which is pretty impressive. Now let's jump into the cons or the things that I found that could probably be fixed. Number one is the voice. I got transported to the human world and ended up as your awesome. The voice was a little bit off pudding because it sounded like a 35 year old man. And since this is for kids, I think they should come up with a little bit of a cuter voice. However, I have read online that future updates are going to include other voice options. So this might be a moot point. I'm sure it's coming soon. 
con number two is something that I didn't experience a lot, but I did experience it a few times, which was that the robot got a little bit confused when switching between modes, or sometimes I would be using the little watch and I'd be controlling it, but I would say something out loud for you guys because I'd be trying to narrate as I'm making this video and it would automatically switch over to conversation mode, which I can imagine in a real world situation that someone would be using that and then someone would start talking and then it would switch modes and that would be kind of annoying. So just something to look out for. And con number three is that I did find that I asked specific questions that were kind of time relevant, meaning I asked it who the current US president was, for example, and it gave me the last US president, which means that it is at least a year out of date. But with all of these new voice updates and all of this stuff that's coming in the next update, I'm sure this is gonna get updated out. I just thought I would mention it. Now with pros and cons out of the way, we get to suggestions because I do have a few suggestions for the X Origin AI company. Number one being the voice. Again, it would be really cool to have different voice options. Now my suggestion number two is a little bit more labor intensive for the company to create, but I just think it would be so cool, which is currently this watch. It's cool, you know, you can control the robot. It's got this big button. It's easy to connect for kids, but kids use phones and iPads and all sorts of electronics now. They just grow up with it. So they know how to use screens. So I think it would be super cool if you created a watch like this with a very simple digital screen where you could control the different modes, the volume, the stuff that people don't wanna have to have a phone out for. I mean, if they're already wearing it on their wrist, why not just include it on there? I think it would be so cool for people to just be able to control their robot from here in addition to the voice prompts. And then that would leave the app for just the profile, the Wi-Fi settings, all the stuff that the adult would need to do. Now, having said that, that brings us to our obvious final question. Do I suggest this robot for you guys, the people watching? And in my opinion, I think it is a really cool robot. I think there is a lot of work to be done, but I also think that there is a lot of hard work that's already been put into it. And with updates coming, I think getting this robot now is pretty worth it. But ultimately, it's up to you if this is the right robot for you. If you would like to find out if this is the right robot for you, I'm gonna be adding this to my ericstechworld.com robot ranker. If you haven't checked it out, go check that out. It's down in the description below. I'll also put a link here on screen. And of course, I will leave a link to this robot down in the description below as well. I wanna give a huge shout out for X Origin AI for sending me this robot to do a review on. They didn't pay me for this. So all of these ideas are completely my own, but I still wanted to give a huge shout out to them for sending it to me. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. We've had a huge influx of subscribers in the last week, which I am super appreciative of. I love every one of you guys. Please comment below what you think about Yonbo or if you own Yonbo, what you think about having it. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna throw a video right up here of something that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you're gonna be interested in that I've made in the past. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World, where tech and adventure meet. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Free audio post production by Alphonic.com.